So this is how to melt super white Merkins chocolate. You want to take a full pound, put it in a plastic bowl, not glass, because glass conducts heat, and you're going to put it in your microwave for one minute. While it's heating, you can stand around and do nothing. Once it's done, you'll take it out, and the key here is to use a fork, and you want to stir that melted chocolate for at least 30 seconds and it won't be melted at all as you can see in the picture what you're doing is you're dissipating the heat with the white wafers white retains heat more so than milk or dark chocolate so basically all you're doing is you're just stirring you're trying to move the wafers around to dissipate the heat and you'll continue doing that again for 20 to 30 seconds All right, and once you're done, you'll just wipe your fork off, and then you're going to put it back in the microwave on high for 30 seconds this time. Now, everybody's microwave is different. You need to know the power of, of the wattage of what you have, but typically one minute on high for the first time, and then 30 seconds on high for the second time. So again, you're going to stir this, and you're just trying to get the heat to move throughout the whole coating. If you had a higher wattage microwave, at this point, instead of it being clumpy and thick, it may already start to be thin. Um, and then instead of putting it back in for 30 seconds, you'd probably put it back in for maybe 15 seconds. But this is still pretty thick. It's pretty clumpy. It just looks like a bunch of clay. So after we after we stir it and mix it up, we're going to put it back in for 30 more seconds on high. Okay, so by now you've finished, this is two minutes that you've finished heating it. And the key has been between each stage to stir it. What happens if you don't stir it between the heating of each stage, the chocolate will get too hot and it will seize up. So again, white retains heat differently than a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate. And as you can see, as we're stirring now, it, it's like butter. The few wafers that were left are actually losing their shape and it's turning into a nice creamy chocolate. So you're gonna keep on stirring and you can see by now that Really, there's no more chunks left. It's nice, it's smooth. And at this point, if you wanted to dip pretzels, if you wanted to scoop it out for a mold, if you wanted to use it for Oreos, it's ready to go. So it's nice and smooth. Now, if I wanted a little bit of a thinner viscosity, you can add Paramount Crystals. And Paramount Crystals are the flakes of the oils that are used to make the chocolate coating. And you could put in a tablespoon up to a quarter cup per pound to thin it out. And now it's ready to go.